The Ghost Trick engine goes as follows. Get any two level one, two, or three monsters on your side of the field. Then use them to go into one of the Ghost Trick XC's monsters. Then use the effect of Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief to rank up on top of one of them, and immediately use its effect in order to detach its Ghost Trick XC's material that it ranked up on top of to the graveyard in order to search out Ghost Trick Shot from your deck. Then use Ghost Trick Shot in order to special summon that XC's monster back to the field from the graveyard, and then rank up another Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief on top of it. Next, you bring out Number S0 Utopic Future on top of both of the Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief, and then you bring out Number S0 Utopic Draco Future on top of that, and there you have it. You get Utopic Draco Future with any two monsters of the same level below level 4, as long as you have Ghost Trick Shot in your deck, and the appropriate Ghost Trick XC's monsters in your extra deck. The ratios for this engine are actually quite extensive when it comes to the extra deck space, but only requires one main deck card. All you need is one copy of Ghost Trick Shot in your main deck, plus two copies of Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief in your extra deck, the two Utopic Future cards, and of course whichever Ghost Trick XC's monster fits the level of your deck. So either one copy of Ghost Trick Dulahan, Ghost Trick Soku Boss, or Ghost Trick Alucard. Now let's go over what all the cards do. This entire engine is possible thanks to Ghost Trick Shot. This is a normal spell card which has the effect where you can special summon any one Ghost Trick monster from your hand or graveyard, then you can change a face down Ghost Trick monster you control to face up attack position. It also has the graveyard effect where it can banish itself from the graveyard in order to attach a Ghost Trick card from your graveyard to a Ghost Trick XC's monster you control. And both of its effects are hard ones per turn. Now, the only thing you use this card for in the Ghost Trick engine is to bring back a Ghost Trick XC's monster. And if you only run one copy of Ghost Trick Shot, it can be considered a Garnet because you need to actually use the effect of Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief in order to get a Ghost Trick XC's monster into the graveyard so that you can bring it back with Ghost Trick Shot. And if you already have Ghost Trick Shot in your hand, then you can't activate the effect of Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief which means you can't get that XC's monster into the graveyard to bring it back. So, if you want to avoid this scenario at all costs, you could just play a second copy of Ghost Trick Shot, as it can be used to further extend your plays if you use either Ghost Trick Alucard or Ghost Trick Dulahan, as both of these cards add the card back to your hand when you go into Utopic Draco Future. Next up, we have Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. This is a generic rank 4 XC's monster, which has the effect where it can XC summon itself on top of any Ghost Trick XC's monster you control, except another copy of itself. It also has two effects. One of them allows you to detach one of its materials to add any Ghost Trick Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. You can also once per turn attach a Ghost Trick card from your hand to this card as an XC's material, which feeds into its last effect. Where if this card has 10 XC's materials, you automatically win the duel. Its ability to instantly win the duel is more of a gimmick and not something you'll ever be doing using it as an engine. In fact, Ghost Trick decks can hardly pull off the combo. An interesting note about this effect is that they're all soft ones per turns. So if you want, you can search out more Ghost Trick cards before you go into the Utopic combo, but that's not really necessary because you're just trying to go into Number S0 Utopic Draco Future. Next up, we have Number S0 Utopic Draco Future. This is a rank 1 monster which requires 3 XC's monsters of the same ranks except for number monsters as its materials, or you can rank it up on top of Number S0 Utopic Future you control. Number S0 Utopic Future can be ranked up on top of any 2 XC's monsters of the same rank except for number monsters. It also has a niche battle effect where you can take control of an opponent's monster in the battle phase until the end of the battle phase, and it has protection from destruction effects by detaching one of its materials instead of being destroyed. But generally, you just use it as a middleman to go into Utopic Draco Future. What Draco Future does is it's passively immune to destruction from battle and card effects, which makes this card incredibly difficult to get rid of, as protection from destruction effects is one of the best kinds of protection you can have, as destruction is one of the most common forms of removal. And also being immune to battle is one of the best complementary protection effects to have on top of being immune to destruction by card effects, because one of the most common ways to get rid of monsters that are immune to card effect destruction is to just destroy them by battle. So Utopic Future Draco is very hard to get rid of. But obviously, the reason you use this card is not for its durability. It also has an effect on a hard once per turn, where if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can detach one of its materials in order to negate that effect, and then take control of that monster permanently. Being able to take control of your opponent's monsters is a premium effect, as that's just a pure plus one in card advantage. Being able to negate the effect of a monster is a premium form of negation, because monster effects are the most common type of effect that activates in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! So, having both of those effects tied together on top of a very durable body makes Utopic Draco Future a boss monster that's worthy to go into. And because the Ghost Trick engine allows you access to this card incredibly easily, it basically gives a lot more decks access to this card, which was generally only available to certain types of archetypes that had an abundance of non-number XC's monsters on the field. Which is a distinction that matters because a lot of the best XC's monsters in the game are number monsters. 
Next up, let's go over the three Ghost Trick Xyz monsters that can rank up into an Angel of Mischief. First up, we have Ghost Trick Alucard. This is a rank 3 monster with generic materials, meaning it needs any two level 3 monsters to go into it, and it has two main effects. You can detach one of its materials to destroy a set card your opponent controls, and if it's sent to the graveyard in any way, you can add a Ghost Trick card from your graveyard to your hand except itself. It also has a niche effect to protect your Ghost Trick monsters from attacks. Now, this card has actually seen staple play over the years for being a rank 3 toolbox card in order to pop back row, and you can absolutely destroy one of your opponent's back row cards when doing the Ghost Trick combo because you don't actually need its Xyz materials. And since it has the recover effect when it's sent to the graveyard, it can allow you to get back Ghost Trick Shop after you do the combo, so that you can bring it back on a subsequent turn to just have a body on board for future link plays, or to just have an extra card in hand to discard for other kinds of effects. Basically, since it has the recoverability effect, and can situationally destroy back row before going into the combo, it's usually the card most associated with the engine, even though you can accomplish the same thing with the rank 2 or rank 1 Ghost Tricks as well. Next up, let's go over the rank 2 Ghost Trick monster, Ghost Trick So Cute Boss. This one requires any two level 2 monsters as its materials, and has the effect where you can detach one of its materials in order to destroy one monster in the field that has an attack less than or equal to the combined attack of all your Ghost Trick monsters. And if you do, the zone the monster was in cannot be used as long as you control a Ghost Trick monster. However, Ghost Trick Soki Boss does not have a floating effect like Alucard or Dulahan, so it's generally considered not the go-to option for this combo, in lieu of just going for rank 3 strategies instead. However, it being level 2 does give it a lot of really good support cards thanks to the sprite engine and a couple of other things we'll go over later on in the video, and is a perfectly viable target in order to start the whole Ghost Trick combos. You just don't end with one extra card in your hand like you do with the other two Xyz monsters, Alucard and Dulahan. Lastly, we have Ghost Trick Dulahan. This is generic rank 1 monster, which for a long time was the only good generic rank 1 monster in the game, which has the effect where it gains 200 attack for each Ghost Trick card you control. It has a quick effect in order to detach one of its materials to have the attack of a monster in the field until the end of the turn. And if this card is sent to the graveyard in any way, you can target another Ghost Trick card in your graveyard to add it to your hand. So if you use Dulahan to start the combo, you can end with one extra card in your hand just like you could with Alucard, in order to bring it back later on for link materials or just to have an extra card in your hand with Ghost Trick Shock. Now that we've gone over all the cards in the main combo, let's go over some of the other cards that might enable these combos in a generic deck. Obviously, if you're playing a deck that has level 1, 2, or 3 monsters natively, you can just ignore this section and just use the extra deck monsters and Ghost Trick Shot, and you're pretty much good to go with the Ghost Trick Engine. However, if you want to add in some cards that could enable the Ghost Trick Engine in whatever deck you're playing, and you have an available normal summon, I'll go over some options that can enable the Ghost Trick Engine with one card from your hand. First up, let's go over some rank 3 engine pieces. If you play 3 copies of Emergency Teleport and Psychic Tracker or Psychic Wheel Editor, you can use Emergency Teleport to get one of these level 3 monsters in the field, or use it on a Ghost Trick and Snow Rabbit if you're playing that, and then special summon the other one from your hand. Since both Psychic Tracker and Psychic Wheel Editor have the effect that if you control any level 3 monster other than a copy of itself, you can special summon this card from your hand on a hard once per turn. So, with Emergency Teleport and playing other level 3 monsters, you can basically always have the combo ready to go and you can even do it without using up your normal summon on the combo pieces. Alternatively, there's also the Predaplant engine. Predaplant Orpheus Scorpio is a level 3 monster that can special summon a level 3 Predaplant Darling Tonia Cobra from your deck on its normal or special summon by sending one monster card from your hand to the graveyard. And then Darling Tonia Cobra can search out a fusion spell card from your deck on its special summon, which is incredibly useful for all kinds of fusion strategies, or just going into super polymerization or instant fusion if not. However, this does require you to play the Garnet of Predaplant Darling Tonia Cobra, and in Master Duel, Predaplant Orpheus Scorpio is limited to one copy, which severely limits the viability of this engine. And lastly, we have the Speedroid engine, with Speedroid Terratop and Speedroid Taka Tomborg. Speedroid Terratop is a level 3 monster that can special summon itself from your hand if you control no monsters, and then it can add a Speedroid monster from your deck to your hand. If you add Speedroid Taka Tomborg to your hand, you can just special summon it from your hand if you simply control a Speedroid monster. And this will give you two level 3 monsters in the field without using your normal summon, and only using one card from your starting hand and is absolutely the best way to add a generic Ghost Trick combo to your deck. However, Speedroid Terratop is limited to one copy. If it was available at three copies, this would be the go-to way. But it's also useful in a whole bunch of other strategies because of how useful it is at getting a rank 3 engine going. Next up, let's go over some rank 2 options. Obviously, there's the Sprite Cards, which is an archetype dedicated to getting level 2 monsters of the field, so let's go over some archetypes that aren't built around level 2 monsters specifically. First up, there's Deep Sea Diva. This is a level 2 tuner monster that can special summon a level 3 or lower sea serpent monster from your deck on its normal summon, which does include another copy of itself. So, one Deep Sea Diva enables the full combo thanks to Ghost Trick Sokyu Boss. 
And what's excellent about D.Va is that since it can bring out another copy of itself from the deck, you can't really draw into a Garnet like you can with Predator Plant Darlingtonia Cobra or Speedroy Takatomborg. As every copy of itself brings out another copy of itself, so having any copies in your hand gives you full combo. In the same vein, there's also Nimble Beaver. This card can special summon another level 3 Allured Nimble monster from your deck or graveyard, which does include another copy of itself. And a little bit of utility above Deep Sea Diva is that it allows you to get a copy of itself from the graveyard, which means if you draw into your third copy, it's never a dead card. Unlike Deep Sea Diva, which most times is a dead third card, because you don't have a fourth copy in your deck to bring out. Which doesn't really matter in the first turn of the game, but does matter on subsequent turns if the game goes into the long game even a little bit. However, Deep Sea Diva is also a tuner monster, which enables Christron Hockey Firebox plays, which also gives a little bit of staying power as they can pivot into other strategies if you decide you don't want to go into Utopic Future. And lastly, there's the Live Twin cards. Live Twin Key Sekil and Live Twin Li La. These two level 2 monsters have the effects to special summon the other version of themselves from the hand or deck, as long as you control no other monsters when it's summoned. However, since you have to have no cards when it's summoned in order to use their effects, you can't use them to extend later on in the duel if you control other cards, which you can do with Nimble Beaver or Deep Sea Diva. But again, the usability of the card on your first turn whenever you have a clear field is usually the only thing that matters when you're trying to set up a board, so the downside is generally not that big a deal and still makes them worth considering. And lastly, there's level 1 engines, which is basically just Evil Thorn. Evil Thorn has the effect where you can tribute itself in order to inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent, then you can special summon two other Evil Thorns from your deck, which will allow you to go into Ghost Rick Duluhan and then get the full combo going. And as far as I'm aware, there aren't any other level 1 generic cards that get out two monsters with one card from your hand. Although if I'm missing one, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. All right. And that's it for the Ghost Trick Engine. Despite being called a Ghost Trick Engine, you don't actually need any Ghost Trick main deck monsters at all, as none of them help the combo even a little bit. But the Ghost Trick Extra Deck monsters are all incredibly good. And if you have the free Extra Deck space and don't mind running a single Garnet, you can easily gain access to number as zero Utopic Draco Future, as long as your strategy supports level three or lower monsters. And as always, if you have any ideas for future videos similar to this one, please let us know down in the comments below.